Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Cicada Club. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to turn back the clock, and we're going to take you back to those days in Los Angeles Central Avenue, where jazz was hot and the bands were played. And here to present a little slice of those bygone days, the one, the only, Chester Whitmore's Central Avenue Review. And here he is, Chester Whitmore. Chester, now let's, before we start, I'd like to say hello to the folks. Are you guys ready to dance tonight? Because that's all I want to see tonight. I, want, I, saw, I know you guys ate and everything. I didn't, I didn't eat. I went back there and asked them for some food. They just gave me a little bone and everything else. It's all right. But it's all right. I'll, I'll get there. I'm going to get there. But we're going to work on it. But I'm going to work you guys, too. So we're going to have a good time tonight. That's all I want to hear. You guys have it. Yell at it and go for it. Here we go. Chester Whitmore, Central Avenue Review. called Jive at Five, a little bit of Count Basie. You can't go wrong with Count Basie. At this time, we got to turn into some of the Chicago style of dancing and the Chicago style of jazz. We like to do our rendition of uh, the King Porter Stomp, right? Quick.
King Porter Stump. Right there, that's the Chicago style. Right now, we got to do something way down in the Midwest. Let's slow the tempo down right quick. We call this our businessman's bounce. Now, those who don't know what a businessman's bounce is, it was a relationship of tempo of the bands and the dancers that used to be doing. So you sit back and you stroll with it. So this is our rendition of the Gin Mill Special.
Now that was called the businessman. You just lay back and just dance and smooth there. At this time, how many out there heard of the, a club called the Savoy Ballroom? Now the Savoy, I'm going to ask a question. Who can tell me what the Savoy means? Oh, can anybody over here tell me what Savoy means? It has a language, it has an interpretation for the public that was out there. The word Savoy means home of the happy feet. So that's a trivia question right away. We like to play one of the numbers and it was called For Dancers Only. I like that. <laughs> that was good. At this time, during the 20s, 30s, 40s, we always had different type of entertainers to come up and the styles of dancers and the singers and stuff. And it, the songwriters were great. And, you know, I, I grew up watching all the MGM musicals and the RKL. And I'd like to bring up a person right now that loves this stuff. He's a great friend. I want you guys to give him a round of applause. One of them, Mr. David Williams, ladies and gentlemen. David! Come on over here. How you doing, buddy? Ah. Chester Whitmore, wow. Well, I can say the same about 
about you. <laughs> I'm asking him this. I want to what's what are some of your favorite dancers, you know? Man, you know, I know your tap, your your, your house, you know, your rhythm, your a stare. Okay, oh, uh, okay. Uh, give up Fred Astaire, right? You know, we're talking about a stare. Now, during that, that time at the RKO, the ten year period, he came up with a many different type of songs. Now, which which one of your favorites? One of my favorites is one song I'm gonna do tonight. Oh, we wanna do that tonight? Yeah, let's do that tonight. Okay, we got Okay, let's try it, guys. And let's see if you guys guess the movie it's from. Ready? Night and day, you are the one. Only the sun whether near to me or far it's no matter darling where you are I think of you night and day day and night why is it so that this feeling follows me wherever I go in the roaring traffic's boom, in the silence of my lonely room, I think of you. Night and day, night and day, Woo. you are the one, hurry on it, This torment won't be through Till you let me spend my nights making love to you Night and Inside of me, this torment. 
Nothing won't be through Till you let me spend my nights Making love to you Day and night Night and day Woo! <laughs> Thank you Let's hear it for David Williams, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. That was smooth. He'll be back later on. We got a lot more fun stuff to do right quick. What we got in our bag? Okay. We got to like to do a number now. Uh, how many heard of Andy Kirk's? Andy, the fabulous Andy Kirk Orchestra. Okay? We like to do our rendition of a mellow bit of rhythm. for the lady in the
Say, folks, it's Chester Whitmore, Central Avenue Review. Now, Chester, if we were to turn back the clock a few years and travel down to Central Avenue, what might we experience? What were the clubs? What was the, uh, the, the atmosphere, the scene? Oh, what is it? The Elks Lodge. The Elks Lodge used to be up there, but this one mostly be with the sportsmen. But uh, one of my favorites was a place called The Last Word. The Last Word was a famous place where Roy Milton used to be at. But the, I think one of the most famous places on Central Avenue, on the West Coast, or we say on higher in Hollywood, would be the Club Alabama. Yeah, the Club Alabama was like the, the Cotton Club in Harlem. You would see everybody there, magicians, singers, comedians, and it was one of our first radio stations here in Los Angeles that came out, it was called KGFJ. It was, came out there and, it, and broadcasted live. But it, they had a, a large fountain, when you enter the door, in the middle of the floor, it would come up, drop back down, and it was, it, it was just unbelievable. Well, I'll bet we have a few folks here that might have even visited Central Avenue back then. You think so? I'm quite sure, I'm quite sure so many people. You guys probably experienced it, or you talked to your, your grandfathers or your mother and father told you about it, if not. But it's something you should look up definitely. Uh, it's a rich heritage in Los Angeles history about the music of jazz here on the West Coast that was here. It was a lot of things happening. We talk about the Harlem Renaissance, which was great. But there's also things here on this side of the coast that was just as great as things that came out. And speaking of great things, how about a big round of applause for Chester Whitmore and his Central Avenue Review. Maxwell the Mill, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, we'd like to bring on another vocalist. It's five minutes. If you knock your socks off, we're going to have some fun. We always have some fun because in rehearsals, we don't never know what we're going to do until we get up here. So now we'll have a plan and then we just change it. At this time, I want everybody to say, Sylvia! A little bit louder than that, y'all. Come on, Sylvia! And put that all at the end, Sylvia! Here she is, Sylvia, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness, Chester Whitmore. He is a lot of fun, I tell you. Thank you so much, Chester Whitmore and the Central Avenue Review. You guys having a good time? Yeah. Having a good time, okay. We're going to start off with a tune that, um, well, has probably become, uh, it's a sin now if I don't do this song. It's become uh, somewhat of, you know, uh, the tune that I, I write, right, Chester? Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, anyway, a little bit about the song. It comes to us by way of a group from San Francisco, um, Miss LeVay Smith and her Red Hot Skillet Liquors. Robert, what's the name? Big Fine Daddy, here we go.
all shapes, all sizes, all kinds. Baby, when I'm feeling blue, a big man could you find? Now I don't need men who come on strong with lots of muscles like King Kong. There's just one reason I sing this song, yeah. I'm gonna sing it all night long, fine daddy. Everybody up and dancing. I do not know what will, huh? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's such a wonderful time being here at the Cicada Club. I'd like to thank Maxwell DeMille for having us. Okay. We're taking you now to the songbook of Mr. Benny Goodman. Benny Goodman had a one, uh, wonderful, wonderful tunes in his songbook, and this one was made for the lovely Miss Peggy Lee. Back in 1936, she made this her first very big hit. It's called, Why Don't You Do Right? Right, like some other men do. 
All right, stay right there. Can I have all the ladies on the floor right now? Over here, can I have my ladies come on up here? coming down, he hits everything. Keep your ear and listen to the rhythm. If my hand go up, he'll catch it. If, I, if my leg go up, he'll catch it. If you gotta go here like, if I help, 
Okay, so you got to come down in the middle and keep that rhythm going and keep it functioning. And we got to keep this guy. Are you ready? Can we have the first two?
Ladies and gentlemen, Chester Whitmore, Central Avenue Review.